What's going on guys? This is Nubby with One Hand Tech Reviews. Back to do a uh, Arduino tutorial today. Now, uh, what you see in front of you right there is a uh, Arduino Uno R3 revision. And I have it set up on my breadboard because I don't have a holder for it. Uh, and what I did is I, in the mounting holes that are on the breadboard, I just took some regular staples out of a uh, a staple gun that you use for walls and stuff, not the paper staples, but the industrial staples, and uh, hooked them to my breadboard and through the mounting holes on the Arduino on all four of them, and it holds it really, really securely in place and it doesn't move. Now for my power, so I don't have to uh, conglomerate all of my different projects on single power pins what I did was the 5 volt I took to this side over here right here is my 5 volt power this whole whole rail on my breadboard is 5 volts and I even wrote 5 on it so I would know and the ground runs also on this side then over on this side I ran a jumper from the 3 volt power to the power rail on this side of the breadboard and another ground on this side also. Now in this Arduino tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to use photo resistors or photo cells to control an LED or a servo motor or anything else that you can think of but what I'm going to show you is how to control a servo and an LED. Now this is a photo cell it's just a it's all it is is a variable resistor that changes its resistance based on the ambient light that's shining on top of it now this photo or photo resistor I got from DigiKey for 80 cents I actually got a couple of them but uh they're pretty cheap to get and you can get them anywhere you can get them at DigiKey Mouser Radio Shack I think Home Depot even sells them now this one that I have has a max voltage of 150 volts so you're definitely not going to ruin it with your Arduino. Uh, it's got a 60 millisecond rise time, 25 millisecond fall time and the resistance of this cell is 500 kilo ohms. Now everything that you're going to need for this circuit is you're going to need two different resistors, a 10k resistor and then I am using a, uh, a 1k resistor also so I got a 1k resistor a 10k resistor and then the photo cell now the 10k resistor we're going to use as a pull down resistor to pull the photo resistor down to ground and you're also going to need your Arduino Uno obviously an LED this is just a regular white LED and some jumper wires now as you can see I've done hooked everything up and I'm gonna go through uh, how to how to hook it up on your breadboard now you take one side of your photo cell take it to 5 volts I just put it right in my power rail take the other side out to another point on your breadboard the same row that you put the uh, negative side of your photo cell to, you want to put a 10K pull down resistor from that spot to ground. And then also on that same spot where the resistor and the photo cell are at, you want to put a jumper wire from, from that spot to analog pin zero on the Arduino. Now on the other side for the LED, I'm using uh, pin 11. You can use any PWM pin on the Arduino. And you can tell which ones are PWM pins by the little mark beside the numbers. I do believe there's six PWM pins. Pin uh, 3, 5, 6, 9, 10, and 11 are all PWM pins. You want to take a jumper from uh, whatever PWM pin you're using 
to the positive side of your LED. And then you want to all, I'm using a 1K resistor in between the the power that's coming out of pin 11 and the LED's positive lead. Then f go through the the LED, then you need to jump from the LED to ground. And that's what this black jumper wire does. Now uh that's all for setting it up. I'm going to go ahead and jump on the computer. I'll be back in just a second to show you guys how to uh, program it up in the Arduino IDE. And uh, we'll get it uploaded and get it running. All right. Now you just need to open up your Arduino IDE. And as you can see, I already have the... Uh, the code loaded up but I'll go through it and let you guys know what everything is and why it's there now the first line and photo cell pin equals zero that's just letting our Ardu the Arduino know that the photo cell input is connected to analog pin zero on the Arduino the N LED pin equals 11 is telling the Arduino that the LED is connected to pin 11. Now we go into our void setup for the code. Uh, I put serial begin at 9600 baud just so I can use the serial monitor to see what my min minimum and maximum is for my photo cell and we'll get into that later on down. Um, pin mode LED pin output that's just telling the Arduino that the LED pin which is connected to PWM pin 11 is going to be an output for the LED and that ends the uh, void setup now we go into our loop now since I started the serial begin I had to uh, I printed out cell equals serial print cell equals that's giving me this cell equals here and then serial print line the analog I'm reading what is on the analog pin 0 photo cell pin I'm reading the value of that and that's outputting it here and as you can see in regular light ambient light it's about 800 but if you cover it up it'll drop to 260 270 and you'll see why we need this information in a second. Now we declare another variable called val from our photo cell. And what we, why we have to do this is because we're going to have to map the value in the next couple of lines to a different value. And this just lets us keep our original photo cell pin but gives us another value to map so we can change it. Um, the, we're going to constrain the the in, integer the variable val to 190 and 760 and this will depend on your specific resistor your pull down resistor uh, your photo cell just whatever setup you have you want to you can leave all this here out all this here you can leave all this out of your code at the beginning when you first start get your minimum and maximum from your photo cell and then you plug those in here now next we want to create another variable called the LED level and we want to map the value of val here to 255 and 0 and the reason why we do that is because the the analog input from the photoresistor reads values from 0 to 1023 but we're using a digital pin to output to the LED to control the brightness and that only has a, a values of 0 to 255 so we need to map those values so they'll increment 
proportionally as we're going through the, the output of the PWM pen. And what we do is create another variable to control the brightness. And that LED is going to co correspond between the VAL values and the PWM output. And then the next thing we do is we need to analog write to LED pin, which is pin 11, and we need to write it the LED level, whatever level uh, the it's at right now. And the reason why we put the 255 first and the zero last is because we want the the light to get brighter as the ambient light gets darker. We want the LED to get brighter as the ambient light gets darker. If you swap these two values around and put 0 first and 255 second, then the LED would be brightest whenever the brightest light in the room is, and then it'll get the LED will go darker or dim out with the darker it gets in the room. And last we put a delay in just to make sure everything stays synced up so it's not going too fast and it also with this measures in milliseconds so with 50 milliseconds that's a half of a second so it lets it update enough to where it gives you smooth control over the LED now we just upload this to our Arduino and then in just a second I'll be back with you on on the breadboard to show you how everything's working alright as you can see uh, everything's all hooked up still and we've got our code uploaded to the Arduino now it's time to see if it works and the way you do that is to just cover the photo cell from some of the light and as, as it gets darker, like as you bring your hand closer, the light will get brighter. It's not even totally covering it, and it's going. What you can do is make a, a smart night light for your kids' room, or make a, a motion light, like whenever it detects motion going in front of it and instead of mapping the values you can put a difference if the difference of this changes by so much then you can just set the LED to high and it'll be on like that for a certain amount of time you can delay it for 30 seconds or so and then it'll shut off again so this this is a pretty neat little pretty neat little project to do it's great for the beginner to do just to get your feet wet in the Arduino IDE programming environment and how to hook circuits up yourself now this little here thing here is is not part of this circuit uh, this is an infrared detector and I just used it to hold the wire down on the breadboard to keep it out of the way so we could see a little bit better and now what we're gonna do is uh, I'm going to get the servo motor hooked up. That's right here. Let's see if you can see that. There's the servo motor. And what I'm going to do is I'll be back in just a second. I'm going to change this top to a different one so we can see the movement a little bit better. I'll be right back with you in just a second. All right, now I'm back. Uh, switch this over so we can see the movement a little bit better um, servo motors only go 180 degrees so it's going to go from here to there that's all it's going to do depending on how much it's going to rotate is going to depend on the resistance given off by the resistor and we can either have this go with the LED or without I'm going to do it without the LED just to make it a little bit simpler uh, the only thing you have to do is combine the two codes and, and you'll get it. So I'll be back in just a second. We'll get the uh, IDE open and go from there. Alright, so for uh, controlling the servo motor, things that you're going to need is your photoresistor and your pull-down resistor to ground as earlier. 
uh, your analog pin going to analog pin zero. And then in this case, I'm going to use pin nine because that's how I wrote the code to begin with. So I'm going to use PWM pin nine on the Arduino. Uh, you need your servo motor. The servo motor comes with three, a, a pin with three wires. A black wire you want to take to ground. Red wire you want to take to five volts or 3.3 volts depending on what kind of servo you have and then the yellow wire is going to be your data pin and we're going to take that to pin 9 on the Arduino for this for the code that I wrote you can change that pin in the code to what whatever you like now give me one second we'll jump on over to the computer and get this thing programmed alright so here we are back at the uh, back at my computer we're going to get this thing programmed up. Now we open up our Arduino IDE and as you can see I already have the the servo code already loaded up and I'm going to go through it just like I did with the LED. Uh, this top code here uh, we have to include the, include the servo library into our code so uh, you won't be able to control your servo if you don't include this library. Uh, we need to create uh, a servo instance and I'm calling mine servo1 because you can control more than one servo with this we need to uh, do int photocell pin to zero just like with the LED and that's just saying that the photocell is connected to analog pin zero uh, server pin nine that's just saying that the data pin for our servo is connected to pin nine and POS 0 we're just creating a, a variable called POS which is short for position and we're setting it equal to 0 and that is for the servo position now uh, we're going into our setup again I do the serial the serial communication and that's just so I can see what the photocell is doing and and actually on this one I have it tell me what the what degree the the servo is at also uh, also in the setup we have to attach our servo to the code so the way we do that is the name of your servo whatever you named it and then put dot attach to in whatever pin that you're attaching it to and in this case it's nine because we declared it as nine up, up top now we'll move on to the loop again this is the same as the the LED we serial print cell equals uh, and then serial print line the reading from uh, f the photo cell pen and that's for our serial communication uh, if you open up serial monitor you'll see it and it's going really fast because I have the delay slow are fast if you stop it you can see what it is uh, but whenever I'm trying to set it up I'll put it at like 2000 so I'll have two seconds in between each one so I can see what the values are supposed to be now going on down and this here is we're setting the variable POS to the analog the photocell analog pen whatever that's reading in is what we're setting POS to uh, we could use photocell but I like to use another variable that way we always have the original photocell without constraining it or mapping it or anything that we can work off of if we need it if we connect other things to to our circuit um, here we're creating another variable called servo position and this is just another another variable just so I can have a backup uh, oh and before the POS we got to constrain it to the minimum and maximum of our photo cell just like we did with the LED and then we map the servo pet position to what the minimum and maximum of the POS was to 255 and 0 just like with the LED and that's just changing the analog signal to a digital signal and then we create another variable called servo degree we map that from the digital signal the 255 to 0 to 
to the degrees that the servo operates in. And as a servo operates, it can only turn 180 degrees. So we need to map 255 and 0 to 0 and 179. That'll give us 180 increments to go by. The next line, whatever name you name your servo, mine's servo 1, dot right, and then you want the Arduino to write whatever the servo degree is. And that's what is what will change the servo. And then I have a serial print servo degree equals and then it'll tell me on my serial monitor what degree the servo is at. And then another delay for a half second. Now let's get this uploaded and uh, I'll be back on the Arduino to show you how it works. All right, now I'm back. Uh, we just got everything uploaded to the Arduino for the servo control. And now we do the same thing to check the operation as we did with the LED. You start putting your hand over top of the servo or over the photocell and it will start moving the, the servo. As you can see these photocells are pretty sensitive. That's why it's jumping around a lot because even the little little bit of shadow that's cast on it will make it jump around. See my hand is a good foot and a half away right now just casting a shadow and makes it start bouncing. It'll start turning it and it's not even in shot yet. Uh, not that you can see that anyway. But uh, it's pretty cool. I can't figure out any usefulness for this particular one but I just think it's fun to control a motor with a photo cell with the Arduino. It's pretty awesome. Uh, if you guys have any questions about the Arduino Uno or photo cell circuits or servos or anything just write me a message and let me know and also uh, if you guys need the codes I'll put the link for the codes in the description as well as the parts that I used in this where you can get them and and I'll also uh, upload the schematic so you guys can have that as well um, like I said if you guys have any questions let me know I'd like it if you could rate comment and subscribe on my video and I will be back shortly with some more tutorials and reviews see you guys next time